Hey guys, um, wanted to share a vision with you uh, that I had. Um, it's in a book called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America, written in 2015. But anyhow, you can get it on Amazon. Um, you can email me, Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. Uh, but here's the vision. Okay? It's all America. The outline of our country. And on each coast and all around our borders was darkness, gross darkness, <clears throat> and up above and all around and outside was light, brilliant light. The sky was crystal clear, but this darkness was trying to cover us. Not creep in, roll in, just be pushed, pushed in. And I saw the saints, the people of God, the body of Christ, however you want to put it, his chosen people. And they were pushing against this wall of darkness all around. And they were pushing with their hands out, but they were up. They were praying. And the more they prayed, the farther away from our borders it got. So the reason why I'm putting this out, guys, is because it's just been, my spirit's getting kind of, there was a saying on, I saw this on there, it said, if your spirit's getting stirred up about some something or someone, it's probably for a reason. So apparently it's for a reason. I know it's for a reason, but maybe it's time for us as Christians to push back. I'm not talking about being antagonistic and all this other stuff, you know, um, abrasive. I can't be the finger pointing guy because, man, guys, I came out of a messy life. So, in that area, honestly, I don't have anything to stand on but the blood of Jesus. So, yeah, you go back. Past is pretty ugly. <clears throat> but once you've been born again, it's that beauty for ashes. It's time for us to rise and shine, like Isaiah 60 says. This is the second book that I wrote. Just wrote this one. It's called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. And how we're his story. And he chose us. We were chose he chose us. We're his voice and his choice. He chose us to be his voice, guys. <clears throat> Maybe the hand, the knee, the foot. There's only but one head, and his name is Jesus. But every corner I'm seeming to turn on, somebody's barking about some kind of sin that they want to let in and that we need to get out. <clears throat> so I'm blasting all over there today about some... I put it on one of, one of my feeds about some poll that Americans want religious organizations out of politics. I'm not trying to politicize it, guys. But I put on there, of course they do. Sin is in and Jesus is out. Another one was, you know, businesses are cowing down to sin. Why is there all this, so much sexual sin, guys? Because the enemy is trying to dirty it, taint it. Do the opposite of Genesis 1, 26 and 27. We're created in his image, but it said male and female. Read it. 1, 26, 27. God didn't separate us. We did. It was before Adam and Eve, guys, but really just, I'm not, you know, I'm just telling you. The other piece of this is who's your source? It needs to be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. 
I'm just directional, guys. I got to do the same thing as you, but it's time for us to rise and shine and push back. <clears throat> Entertainers won't sing if people don't got caught down to the sexual sins that are out there. Well, name one of them. You can make a list. Name one of them that brings life. Some of them even bring death, actual physical death, destruction, but it's destructive because it's after God's image. It's just a sin of pleasure. There's, but sin is sin, guys. You can pick one. I'm not one not better than the other, bigger than the other, and not better, but bigger. None of it. That's not what I'm saying. That's not my point. My point is. Why are we letting it to be politically correct? And then it also gets turned around to become, <clears throat> unfortunately, an idol after the money. Recently, politicians quit praying, tired of prayer. Uh, other ones, uh, all that garbage about the tax exemption. What was the main motive behind it? What was the why behind it? Every, nobody barked about that. Nobody said anything. People, preachers were had their veins popping out of their heads, honestly. But why? Not about the sin that they were, that were called to come against and push back and say no more and not let it in. It was about the money. When they said they were going to come after a money or tax exemption, then everybody had something to say. Where were they all before that? Kind of hiding in plain sight, bowing down, cowing down because there was money involved. And I'm not narrow-minded guys either, honestly. I'm not saying you don't need it. I've got, I've got a, a, a minister friend that's from India and other ones too, but <clears throat> I'm going to name names, but he comes over here to visit us in Dallas. If he told us, he said, guys, I'm going to walk. The Lord told me to walk back home. I'm going to follow him. Because it's two, three thousand, how many ever thousands of miles across an ocean? Where is he going to eat, sleep, do all the things that he needs to do, and walk on the water? Man, I'm going to really follow him. No, he had to have a plane ticket. I get it. He would have a hotel. I get it. He had to have money to get here. I get it. He had to rent a car. You know, that's not, I'm not swinging the pendulum to the other side. But what I'm saying is we've let it become an idol. And not standing and not pushing back. Because we're, because whatever, fear, intimidation, political correctness, just whatever. Reasons, and none of them are good, or godly, or biblical. I'm going to end with this, guys. Okay, it's already here, guys. I put on there, I put on there, on, on a platform, one of the social media platforms, I put out there, Three scriptures, guys. I'm not going to quote them right now, but three scriptures. Four in the morning. Guess what? I got up at one. I was praying. I, it was in prayer, guys. I got it and was in prayer. Right before that, four in the morning, I put out, came against a business that's promoting sinful lifestyles. But I didn't, I just quoted the scripture. I said, maybe you need to, maybe we need to start reading these. And I quoted these three scriptures. Guys, I hit enter and my screen blew up in nanoseconds. It never got out there. It never went out. It was some bogus reason why I couldn't put that out on the internet. Censored. Take it, but don't believe me. I'm going to end with this. Go grab your Bible. And go down to a courthouse. Go to a public school. Even a mall. Or the airport. Or pick some other places like that. 
and start reading the Bible, start teaching out of the Bible, start portraying Jesus, start talking about, we talk about God, you might get by with it, but you talk about Jesus and his word and the truth and the Bible and the sin that we're letting in. Cordell, you'll have a sheriff up your behind in about less than, you know, five minutes or any of those other places. You got to leave. <clears throat> Man, there's one lady, it's over in Finland, was a preacher's wife. She took a stand in 2004. She wrote a little book and then she took a stand recently. And now they're trying to prosecute her for a crime, for quoting scriptures, for using scriptures, for intertwining them into the fabric of life. Oh, it's all out there, guys. That saying, even though it's not in the Bible, for good to overcome, or for evil to overcome good, uh, just a good, uh, I don't know how it goes, but a good man has to do nothing. If we don't do anything, guys, we just stand back, look at all, how far this has gotten, how out of hand it has gotten, because we're not willing to push back. I don't know if push back is the right word, pray back probably, because it was prayer. That's a good start. Show the love, too, of course. But tolerance and inclusion, man, guys, those are not good words in this situation, in a lot of this stuff. We're all included. The wedding, read the marriage supper of the Lamb, Matthew 20. The calls being made, guys. The wedding feast is prepared. He, he prepared the menu. He picked the menu. He prepared, picked what we get to eat. Got our seat saved. They're just not, we're just not coming. A lot of them had stuff to do. Read it with some depth. I got convicted in my heart recently because God told me to do that. I was taking some scriptures and just not really reading the whole thing. Me, I was my fault. I would just get part of it and run. But anyhow, it's just time for the, the church to rise and shine. Isaiah 60, and then read Isaiah 60, 22. It's time, guys. Are we just going to sit back? Like I said, we're the body. So if you're the knee, be the knee. If you're the hand, be the hand. If you're the foot, be the foot. If you're the mouth, be the mouth. If you're the voice, be the voice. If you're the ears, be the ears. If you if you see things, if you're, you know, but I always put it in prayer in that secret place. God, am I supposed to say this? Am I not supposed to say this? Wisdom. Bounce it off of your source. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Bible. Of course. Absolutely. 100%. Because we have to be that light of the world. We do have to show people love. We have, do have to show people that we're different, that we're not barking and pushing just to push. Not trying to shove it down somebody's throat like it's happening to us. And not really happening to us. It happened to Jesus too. He's being whitewashed, taken out so that, you know, why? Because we're letting them some. We're not standing up. And saying foul ball here, guys. <clears throat> not so. For me, not anymore, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not trying to be a Said the finger pointing guy that's saying you point at somebody and you got three pointing back that saying you spot it you got it oh like there's a lot of stuff to that guys I get it I understand all that that's why I said you know prayer is one of the big keys but where are you getting this information from and who's your source but it's time for us to tap into that source and realize that the money's not our source 
this tax, like I said, this tax status issue. Maybe you're just supposed to pay your taxes. Imagine that, guys. Oh, man, I'm getting all kinds of stupid comments probably on that, honestly. What if he's telling you to do that? So that you're not locked in and tied up and chained. Can't say anything because there's that and there's that underlying current. I grew up on the Mississippi and, you know, you could sometimes couldn't really necessarily see the current, but it was there. It was very dangerous and there's a little whirlpools. Well, same thing with the ocean, the riptides, you know, I don't know much about them, but I'm, it's people that lived out there and, you know, they knew about it and what to do, and but it's there, guys. This underlying current that's running rampant through the land, through, through us as a country. It's time to pray back this darkness. Are we just going to let it run over our land? Businesses are bowing and cowing down all over the place. What happened with the Boy Scouts? It's, it's not to be politically correct. It's just bowing down to the pressure, but the pressure's coming from there. Might get to their money. Honestly, guys, it's time to start reading between the lines and just write between the lines, and I don't want to hear any more baloney. And I'm not trying to be the guy pouring out the baloney either. <clears throat> you don't have to believe me. I'm not trying to make a clone. I'm not trying to get followers. I'm not trying to get you to do anything. I'm just directional. That's the vessel that I am. And I'm telling you the direction is it's time for us to rise and shine and, and pray back this darkness and gross darkness and take a stand. Tell me this. It's in one of those books that are in 2015. If you stand for me, I'll stand for you. So anyhow, you can just email me at jesusisaliveinamerica at gmail.com. Now I expect some of it to be hate mail, honestly, and that's okay. You can comment, that's okay. I'm a big boy. And I'm not perfect either, guys. I'm really working hard on it. So if there's some error in here, you know, yes, I will straighten it out. But most of it's a no. And the stand, it's time for us to rise and shine, guys. end with this coming out december 1st i don't know why the date was picked but the lord highlighted it i've had three dreams and partial other ones too honestly and scriptures and just a lot of things that have just been kind of that's why i haven't been able to put it out yet because it's still formulating but there's a storm coming to america So tune in December 1st and watch it. Check it out. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. But, you know, like I said, you can go to JesusIsAliveInAmerica.com, blog with us. You can Google us at Jesus is Alive in America and find us. Um, and it's not us. It had nothing to do with me. The direction that I want want this to go is for us to take a stand as a body, but I also want to hear your stories. God does too, because we're his voice. It's time to get out there, guys. Mix it up with the enemy, because there's an enemy out there trying to cover us and bury us alive and destroy, seek, kill, and destroy us with all this darkness. So are we the light? Are we that burnt out ember that's about to go out? Love you guys. I'm going to do the same thing. 
is but one way. I'm the truth, the way, and the life. No man come to the Father except through me. I got to do this very, very exact same thing of what I'm saying, guys. I can't change. It doesn't change for me. Just because I'm sitting here, kind of maybe the guy with the mic or whatever. It doesn't, 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 doesn't change. I don't get a free pass. It's kind of time for people in the ministry to get over themselves and stand for the truth, too. You got an ultimate responsibility. You actually got a more weightier matter than than we're taking. Because souls are at stake, guys. Lives are at stake. Death and destruction's out there. And if you're leading, man, time to get up and lead. If you're the hand, man, time to grab for something. If you're the body or the knee or the foot, get us there. If you're seeing things, get it out there. Tell us. If you're hearing things, tell us. First Peter 2, 2, 20 and 21. There's nothing secret, guys. It's not a secret revelation. I got it and you don't. That creates issues and problems, too. That God didn't create, we did. It's for the body. And we stand collectively as a body. We can pray back this darkness that's trying to cover the world, trying to cover this country, this land. So anyhow, I love you guys. Um, talk to you soon.